we're going to look at some of the different ways. Now, again, when we first started this, uh, everybody was talking about the, this atmosphere, that atmosphere. And so I want to go right from the beginning and tell you, I'm not emphasizing the atmosphere. I'm emphasizing who you are. <clears throat> because you may not, um, let's say you go into a new city, you go into a new area, you go into a new job, you go into a new industry, whatever it is. <clears throat> if you've never been there before, then there is an atmosphere. There's an atmosphere over all these things, individually. You can have an atmosphere over a church. You can have an atmosphere over a family. Uh, particular families can have atmospheres within them. Churches can have atmospheres. Uh, businesses can have an atmosphere. I mean, if you, and, and some people, uh, another way some people would say it would be like a, a culture, the culture of that business, the culture of that church, certain ways, it's the mindset, it's the personality, you might say, of that organization. Now, <clears throat> if you're just getting there, then you may not have had anything to do with the atmosphere or culture of that entity. However, the minute you walk in, you can change that atmosphere. Why? <clears throat> because with the minute you walk in, I don't care who's there, you as a Christian are the highest spiritual authority in the room. I don't care what devils are there. I don't care what principalities are there. I don't care what government officials are there. I don't care who's there. If you are a Christian representing Jesus Christ, then legally, spiritually, you are the highest authority in the room. Now, the problem is most people don't know that. Some people never find that out. <clears throat> Some that do find it out never really walk in it because of the group they hang out with, in many cases, uh, doesn't teach that. They haven't been taught how to walk in that authority. And so they think that the idea of a Christian is, you know, they just write doormat on your forehead and that's how it's supposed to be. <clears throat> that is not what Jesus did. Jesus was not a doormat. People say, well, yeah, but, you know, look, he let them crucify him. Yeah, that's because that was his mission. Now, the next time he comes back, guess what? No doormat. Amen. He's coming in to rule and to reign. Amen. 